Hello all, welcome to my presentation, Dividend Growth Model, ACCA F9, presented by Sean Bourne. Dividend Growth Model is a model that can be used to place a value on a company's equity and also to estimate a cost of equity on the assumption that the market value of share is directly related to the expected future dividends from the shares. Cost of equity KE equals DO open brackets 1 plus G close bracket plus G divide PO where PO is the current market price of shares DO is the current net dividend, KE is the cost of equity capital, G is the expected annual growth in dividend payments. Example Dividend Growth Model XY Company's share is currently quoted in the market at $60. It pays a dividend of $3 per share. An investor expect a growth rate of 10% per year. You are required to calculate 1. The company cost of equity capital. 2. The indicated market price per share. F anticipated growth rate is 12%. 3. The market price. F the company's cost of equity capital is 12%. Anticipated growth rate is 10% per annum and dividend of $3 per share is to be maintained. Solution We know cost of equity capital KE equals D divide P plus G. 1 so $3 divide $60 plus growth of 10%. 0 0.10 equals 0 0.05 plus 0 0.10 equals 0 0.15 which is 15%. Market price. So in order to find the market price from the formula, we, 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 we arrange the formula. So dividend D, divide, cost of equity, KE minus growth rate G. So is three dollars divide fifteen percent minus growth rate of twelve percent equals three dollars divide three percent give market price of one hundred dollars. Again, market price is found. P equals three dollars divide twelve percent minus ten percent equals three dollars divide two percent give market price of one fifty. Advantages and disadvantages of dividend growth model. Advantages easy to understand and use. Disadvantages the model fails to take capital gains into account. It assumes there are no issue costs for new shares. No allowance is made for the effect of taxation although the model can be modified to incorporate tax. The model does not explicitly incorporate risk. Dividends do not grow smoothly in reality so G is only an approximation.